we are back. It has been, uh, it's been a little while because I, uh, I had some personal issues I needed to deal with, but we have still been going. I have still been playing. I have not quit, just to be clear. Um, all right, so, so where are we at and what are we doing? Um, basically, <coughs> we've got, so we finished the forge path for this season. So that's done. So I got my nice new uh, little, uh, what's this called? The uh, little image here that we've got. Uh, so I did get that. I got all the stuff for, from there. I did get some new gear for the shields and I've been working through missions. So right now we've got clan versus clan going on. So I will be doing a lot of that stuff to make sure I get a lot of the rewards. We actually already got a lot of the rewards. This clan seems to be going in, but our, our clans just didn't wake up yet really. So we've already got a hundred and you know fifty thousand points, and we haven't even really started pushing. So, and I honestly like even me, I I think I just started. So, but yeah, like literally, I got like two thousand points, and I usually do about sixty to seventy thousand uh, points. So, um, oops, get out of here. So, what have we been doing? What have, what what's been going on? Where have we been? Um, so, really. I have been working on missions. So the last few missions, I think the last video I did, we had we were trying to get through the other Great Hall level. So we were kind of stuck there. So we finished that one, the level seven, and we did the all the potion missions, which were horrible. So it is the first time that I um, actually spent gems to open up a potion keep. There's a reason I did it. It's not like I just did it because I'm being lazy. Um, so really what we had to do is you had to beat level 14 on every potion keep 10 times. I think it's auto, I don't remember, but 10 times. Uh, and then you have to do the worst thing that you've ever had to do in your life. You have to fuse 10 superior potions for each keep. So essentially you need 100 greater potions and you need a million silver for each one so it, it was a little annoying basically i mean the money part wasn't too terrible i just had to, i mean just from farming the potions you get i think it's like four thousand i farmed on level nine uh here we'll see what's this is tavern ascent so potion mixer so as you can see i have a ton of these superior potions now because i had to fuse them all but all my other potions are basically just <laughs> <laughs> um so yeah, but I have all these. So, and each one of these costs 100k to fuse. So that sucked. But and the other problem is that they don't really go in a good order. So you're going to end up doing one and then having to wait like three or four days to do it. So what ended up happening for me is is this one's easy because it's open. Arcane is open all all week. So I finished that one quickly. Um, Spirit came next. So I that one took me a little bit of time. So I was like, great. So I just waited. That one I did in two sections. So it's the first day that the spirit opened, I did it, and then the second day. So that one took me the longest. Um, almost immediately after that, I think I had just finished getting a bunch of um, energy from like the weekend. <coughs> Excuse me, from the weekend. So I ended up having a lot of energy when the magic keep opened. So I was able to bang that one out in a day. Now, what happened was is then the next potion keep was this one. And it wouldn't have opened until I believe Tuesday. I think it just I think it's open now actually. It's open today. So it wouldn't have opened until today. And then after that, the void was supposed to was the next quest. So that is where I spent my gems. So I was like, you know what? I I basically would still be waiting to finish the void keep one if I did I didn't do it. So I bought the two hundred I used the two hundred gems to open this faction this this um, potion keep up for a day. And I just farmed the crap out of it, got it done, and then I already had these potions because I don't use Void Heroes. I have, like, I think now four, and three of them I literally just fused again because I use them for the fusion. So I only other one I have is Broadmoor. So I've been using all – I haven't been using these, so I had tons of these. So this one I was literally able to fuse the second I finished it, so that was good. So now those quests are done. It was terrible. Um so now what have we done so far? So essentially with champions, I think the only thing that's really changed, uh, I don't remember what my last thing was. I believe last time I streamed that 
Broadmaw was level 50, so he is now level level 60. Um, I started building up his gear to 16. I have one left. I could honestly probably do it today. Uh, and then I finished out Frozen Banshee. So she's, well, when I say finished, you, you know how I mean. I finished her as in, like, she's got enough gear to keep her going now until I go crazy and try to find, like, the perfect gear set. Um, I did finish her masteries, so she is done there. I farmed her out. I did not buy those, and all of her skills are now finished. So she's basically now one of my one of my tops. So all of these heroes. So he's done. She's done. He's done. He's she's done. She's done. Valerie's done. Soulbond's done. Uh, Apothecary is done. So now he is the next one that I have to do masteries for. So I'm gonna start farming him eventually. But right now I need to get. Uh, I need to just get. I need to finish four six stars. So, and those are the ones that are now before you here. So, he will be, the, I will be building him to six, her to six, and him to six. I just pulled him uh, recently, actually, I think like last week. And I was super excited because I have no Shadowkin. Zero. I was literally to the point that I was going to start building um, a couple of, uh, well, there's only two, 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 two uncommon Shadowkin. I was literally about to just start building those just so I could, you know, beat the first few levels of the faction wars. But I got him, and that he's literally the best one. So I was very excited that I pulled him. Um, I've got him in destroy HP gear because I'm considering bringing him into Scarab King as one of my helpers because he does ha already have it built into his kit, and he also has a shield. And he's got removed, de I mean, block debuffs and a couple of other defense things that are really good for that fight. So he may be one of the people that I'll be pulling in to do Scarab King. Um, I haven't tested it on him yet, so I don't know if it's going to work. I really, you know, I'm not worried about it at this second because I can, I can already beat it. So really, it's just making it easier so I can auto the fight instead of having to do it manually like I've been doing. So I do have some accuracy on him. We want his accuracy pretty high. I believe I already have his banner. Where is it? This one. I think I'm doing accuracy. Yeah, I have an accuracy banner for him to help make sure he hits his his uh, his debuffs and stuff. So very important there. So why am I building these these three? As you can see, Broadmaw is already at six star and he's missing his ascension here. So I haven't ascended him yet. This is why there's missions coming up for each one of the of the uh, affinities, and you have to ascend them at that moment of the quest. So. I'm basically going to get all four of these guys. Each one is a different affinity, and they're all heroes that I need. So, like, I need him for I need him for the spider because he's my only reliable HP burner. So, I'm going to be throwing an accuracy banner on him. All right, get him really. I need really high accuracy for him to make sure that the burn hits the spider. Um, she's the next one that I'm building out uh, for Fire Knight. So, I have her set up, and she's Spirit, and then obviously. Odachi, which I really need for Faction Wars and um, and a couple other things, to be honest. I think I think he's going to really blend into the teams that I've been using uh, pretty well to beat content. It's crazy that I've been doing like almost all the content I do, with the exception of maybe one or two things where I need a specific hero, which I don't think really is, is, an op is a thing right now. Um, I'm only using these heroes. Like, and Odachi I just got, so I honestly haven't even used him in any content yet except for Faction Wars, like where I actually need him. So, and because, you know, Doom Tower, I'm kind of at the end where I can't really move further yet until I built him. Because it, it's, it was like, I got the spider right to the end, but he missed his uh, burn at the last second. And I wasn't able to kill him in time and it regenerated and I just didn't feel like fighting him again. So I can beat the spider at the level I'm at. I think it's like 480. Um, so I can beat him, it just would be really annoying. So I, I needed maybe one more reliable HP burner to make it very effective, but I just need his accuracy really well, really high right now, so I can definitely land the burn every time. Um, and then, like I said, she's going to be Fire Knight uh, specialist. I also have that new hero that in the vault, that that elf, the high elf girl who does basically what Crimson Slayer does. Uh, essentially, they they both have heal reduction, multiple multi hits, and um, turn meter reduction. So I think those two might be winners for pushing me through Fire Knight. Uh, both are amazing. Like literally have, they're, they're 
both completely made to destroy the Fire Knight. So I'm hoping that that works out well. So really I just need some protectors. So I'll probably end up bringing Valerie in and Kale, obviously, for waves. And then really it's just whoever else I want to bring. Uh, more than likely it'll end up being Apothecary. Because the next quests that I'm coming up against are the level 15 dungeons, which I feel like I'm not going to have too much trouble. I believe I've beaten a few of them already. Uh, it's just you got to auto them. So like, there might be, I think Spider might be annoying. I'm pretty sure Fire Knight I can do with the team that I already did it on 14 with because they weren't dying. Like they, they just kept going. Really the only thing I need in that team is a heal reduction because I don't think, I think coming up right now from 15 on, I don't think I'll be able to actually do enough damage to fight off his heal. So far up to 14, I've been able to out damage his heal. So the fight took longer, but I was able to beat him. But I don't think that's going to be the case anymore, so I have to have a heal reduction in there. So that's why I want to build her. She's, the first, she's my first choice for now, and I already got her up there. So that's where we're at on heroes with the ones that we're using. And, and like I said, it's, it's just crazy that I have, what, six? I have 12 heroes right now that I use religiously and that help me through all content. Like pretty much any, any dungeon, everything I do in the game is there. So that's where we're at there. Now let's look at the vault. I literally just this morning finished getting all my heroes um, ascended. So all ascended now. I have a lot of new awakenings. So I finished out like, you know, uh, what is her name? The barbarian girl, I, I got her. Uh, Dark, what is this, Aethel. So, finally finished these two to four star and I did level a couple I don't know which ones of these were not built the last time that we did this but these are all my 50s now I've been slowly like just leveling up I'm trying to level up one hero per faction uh, Revenant just happened to be that I leveled all Revenant to 50 so like you know her uh, this coffin smasher guy uh, and this dude, Executioner. They just happened to be heroes that <clears throat> were really good, and I just happened to build them to 50. So, But those are my only three heroes in that faction, so I gotta find more. So these are all my 50s. We will be slowly now building all of these heroes up to 50. So that's the next step, but first is getting these to 60. Alright. Um, that's gonna Once I get all the heroes to 50, it's gonna be a really nice boost to my faction wars, because I really want to be reliable with beating I want every single faction beat um, up to the boss, the first boss, and I would like to be farming stage 9 to 12. That's basically where we're at. Most of my factions are already there. There's a few, I think, like like uh, Skinwalkers, I think, maybe. That's not... Oh, no, Skinwalker, I beat the first boss, but it's not three-starred. So I have been beating most of them. Shadowkin's going to be a while, but I'll have him at level 60. So while I'm, I'm not going to have the stars... It will be possible to maybe, you know, if I get, like, hopefully one more Shadowkin, I can push that and start farming. Because he'll be 60, which is insane for that. He'll just destroy stuff. But the problem is the boss will probably be one of those, you know, provoke, kill you, and, you know, fear you, and, and all the crap that comes along with it. So he does have a block debuffs, but it won't be enough for one person. I don't, I, I would definitely need at least one more hero, um, probably three to get through it. We'll see. I haven't gotten there yet, so <laughs> he was only level 40 when I started, when I had the Shadowkin faction open, so I only beat, like, I think two levels just to waste my keys. So we do have an impressive collection of heroes now. Um, essentially, I have, all right, so I have 83 heroes in the vault right now. <laughs> so we have 83 separate heroes that I am using for faction wars and everything else. I mean, so as you can see... There's tons and tons and tons and tons of heroes here. Um, I have a lot of good ones, a lot of bad ones. Uh, at this point, like I said, I'm just collecting them now. We're just going to have as many of the rare heroes as possible because we want as many options as possible to keep us moving forward. And if they're all level 40 right now, literally I'm just going to start picking the heroes that I need. Not just randomly, like I, kind of like these three over here. Like I chose these three because they are that they have the kits I need to progress things that I either are, am having trouble with or I know I will be having trouble with coming very soon. Um, so there's a few heroes in here that I might consider. Like I said, Sentinel's pretty good. 
Um, this girl is really good. I don't remember her name. Miss Miss Cordia, or whatever her name is, um, is pretty good. Uh, I did get a few more sentences. Siege Hulk, Siege Breaker. I forgot his name is Siege something. This guy is really good. He does insane damage. I did not realize it, so I will probably be building him as my next hero. Madman, he will be getting built immediately. I already have, as you can see here, I click on him. I already have some 16 gear on him that I put from other heroes because he's that good. So I just wanted to throw some really good he some really good gear on him so I can get him to 50 also. So there's a, there's a few. This one I'll be getting to 50. So there's definitely a bunch of heroes in here that I want to get to 50 and start working. Like obviously, you know, I got her awakened just recently. Uh, Marked is really good. These are all heroes that can help me. Uh, Hexweaver, I don't know if I really need her. Um, Narlhorn, amazing. This guy, I didn't think I would like him, but he's starting to grow on me. Slayer, I got awakened to three star, so I was like, oh, let me give him a try. It's funny how like some of these awakened heroes, even though they're not heroes I would normally choose to use, they're actually heroes that I'm gonna keep for now. I did get a few three stars, like Executioner. He's been three star Bullsmith. Um, he actually helped me get through the dwarf boss fight really easily because, well, not easily. I had trouble because the rest of my dwarfs suck, but um, except I just got Madman, but he's not leveled yet. Uh, but he's doing, he was doing like, I think on his main hit, he was probably doing somewhere between 20 and 40,000 damage. So he was just, it was really, I was just fighting the, the debuffs on the boss for Faction Wars. So, but his attack is freaking awesome. He just destroys things. So. Is he the best hero in the game? No, but for where I'm at, he's, he's amazing. All right, so that's all the heroes. Reserve Vault, I have my next set for my next six star. So I already got this one to five star. So I have to, I'm leveling up four stars right now, which honestly I may do, I may finish today. I don't even know. Um, Cause we have, we have clan versus clan going. So I'm getting a ton of energy and my week just reset. So I got energy from that stuff. I've got energy in my vault. Um, so yeah, I've got a lot of energy. So to be honest, I could conceivably level one of these guys up to 60 today for, for CVC. Um, I did finish one. I finished her. So she's got all, I got all the faction guardians for, um, barbarian set. Um, this one's done. Lizard men is done. Uh, revenants is done. So now I'll be farming. I have to farm lizard still. So I'm still farming. So I'm still leveling in, in the lizard man area because I need to get more of him to level up his skill to max. So this may end up getting replaced with the other lizard that you farm from that level. So we'll see, it just depends how many I get. If I only get like two of the other lizard and a bunch of him, then I'll just level up his skills and leave him in this. So, but that's the faction guardians um, right here, see? So they're all, this is how they all look now, very nice. Um, I will be moving on to, I think, high elves next. I'm basically working myself backwards, which is dumb because I should really do um, dark elves first, but I just don't want to. I don't want the. I want more experience right now because I'm trying to level up and get ready for the quest. So I can always go back and farm those later. Would it help me more if I had the attack on dark elves and everything for kale and all that other stuff? Yes, it would help me a lot, but it's it's not necessary right now. I mean, it's 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 helpful. The, the HP is fine for now. Is what I'm. Is really what it is. Um, I would love to get all this for for Kale because he's my main my main damage dealer. But at the same time, I, I just it takes forever for some reason that she, the um, spirit host just doesn't want to drop, and she's annoying. So I just don't. I know it's going to be a pain. But the good news is, is once I do farm it, that'll be my skinwalkers because you get the uh, you get Greybeard also. So that'll finish out um, d dark elves and skinwalkers at the same time so because right now i just have these guys in here which i think i think honestly two of these you need for the fusion later on so i may not be able to use them but yeah that's then that's after i think after i finish dark uh, i mean high elves i'll probably move into this but i don't know what i want to do yet all right so what have we been doing here let's go here we got this um so my clan boss fights have gotten much better it's been a lot more consistent. I have one key left. So I just did, this is hard. So like as you see, we did 15 million in one hit. So I can one key hard, no problem. Uh, brutal, as long as everything goes my way and I don't get a crap fight, I can usually two key it now. So here, we'll do a quick run through. This is the team I'm using right now. Um, I'm 
I do have a few other options that I'm going to be looking into using. Uh, I, I really just need a reliable healer is what I want. I may consider taking War Maiden out eventually, depending on how it goes with the other heroes that I'm planning on building to, to start this. Um, I forgot her name. I think it's Hyria. There's, um, I got her. She's a high elf and does a ton of poisons. She's basically like, uh, what's her name? Like Frozen Banshee. She just has a ton of poisons in her kit and she has the ally attack. Like, you know, have three people attack at once. So, you know, imagine you have Hyria that has like a crazy poison hit and then you have Kale with his crazy poison hit and then you've got Frozen Banshee with a crazy poison hit and then Hyria comes in and has three, all three of them attack at once. So you're just gonna have tons and tons of poisons hitting. So I think I may consider, I think that alone might outpower War Maiden's defense down and her one little baby poison that she has. She's really good for, she was really good to start, but now we're like, we're really looking to see who can maximize the poisons and really get the poison going. Because I don't have HP burn really. Like I said, I have one guy, but I don't have a team that's set up for HP burn to make it effective. Like if I was gonna do HP burn, I would have to more than likely get a few other HP burners, maybe one or two. And you would need like a, because I don't have a poison sensitivity for, for HP burn. Uh, you would need like a debuff extender, probably. Like uh, what's her name, Health Freak? I don't remember her name, but the, the demon spawn one, I have her. But you would need to build her also. Like it would, it basically I'd be having to build all five all new heroes pretty much, except for maybe, I don't know, like Valerie and Apothecary. I could probably keep in that team for now, but it would be such a waste of resources just to rebuild a team for HP burn when it's really not that much more effective at this point comparative, because I would need to re-gear all of them. It would just take forever. So that's one of the things that like down the road, I'll just save my HP burners and maybe build them up later on. Now, in the beginning of this, when I started, and I was doing pretty well in Clan Boss, the average here was one million every two rounds. That was what I considered to be like a really good run, all right? Um, so basically, after two runs, you need a million. After four runs, you'd have two million, and so forth. So right now, six million would be a good damage for me back then. So now that we have, now remember, this is brutal, right? I think I went into brutal. I hope I went into brutal. I don't need hard anymore. Um, so, you know, now we're at 9 million, almost 10, and with 13 rounds. And we usually go between 19 and 20 rounds, depending on how much of a jerk the boss is. And as you can see, Frozen Banshee, like, has that extra attack, so she does, she'll, I've had her put up six poisons in one, one ra in one turn, not a, not a round, one turn, because she'll just extra hit sometimes in a, in a row, which really helps that damage out, getting those poisons with the poison sensitivity. Let's see. This is actually a pretty decent run, but he does so much damage. Like, I, I need to get more defense into my team. I got to find a really reliable healer to replace Valerie, because right now Valerie's good. She keeps me alive, and she definitely does do boom. But then this happens, see? Because I don't have a reliable team healer. But 12 million is good. Like I, that's not bad because, like I said, I need 20. What is it? 22. Boom! Look at all those poisons. I need 22. So yeah, 13 is not bad. Yeah, 13 too. Look at that. And that was brutal, right? Just want to make sure I was on brutal. Yes, so that was brutal. All right. So there you go. Not bad. So we did 15. I did. I usually do between 15 and 16-ish. Sometimes less, depending on the affinity and how much the boss is being a jerk. Um, but yeah, 13 million. Perfect. This is exactly where I need to be. I mean, look, this is just to show you, like, uh, Wall's amazing. This dude is, this dude does way more damage than me almost consistently. Um, but just so you can kind of see, because it all depends on procs and stuff. I mean, I'm sure this team will, you know, I don't even know if this team that he's using here is, is, um, set to be just for clan boss. Like, he might have these built for a different thing. And it does the job. So, like I said, it's not. But I'm just, just to give you the comparison, like <clears throat> how just making sure you have the right team with the right skills and the right synergy between the team, how much that can help your damage. I mean, he's using like you know, look at this, legendaries, epics. It's all legendaries and epics. 
all right? And they're all max and 237,000 power. And he did 15 million. We're at 142K, all rares, and we did 13.2 on Brutal. So you don't need all that to get. And my team isn't, like, if, if I change Kale over to Warmaster right now, I guarantee you that damage would skyrocket because I would have Warmaster on my main damage dealer who's hitting the most. So, or I don't even know. He hits once, twice. Yeah. I don't know. I think Warmaster would be better. Yeah, because the four hit doesn't happen often, so Warmaster would be better. Um, so yeah, if I had Warmaster, I'd be getting another, you know, 60k damage every time, he, almost every time he attacks. So there is, there are ways to build this higher, and eventually I would like to get Kale out of this team, but it's, it is what it is right now. He does the most, po he does the most poison damage so far. Hyria will be good for this, but there you go, two key, easy two key. Um, for this, so here we go. So yeah, we need 22 million. So we're gonna do 20. I, I do between, like I said, 11 to um, 11 to 14 ish in here. I think I might have done 15 once. So as long as I don't get a crap fight, then we'll be good. Now the thing is, is I don't even need this to be one or two key right now. That's the funny thing because I can't even get into nightmare. So we're we're talking about we've been talking about beating brutal. So. I just do one key on hard now. I don't touch normal anymore. It's not worth my time at this point. Um, and all of my damage now and all my keys go into Brutal. So hopefully, I think I, I think I hit 50 million damage in four fights, in four keys. Um, not yesterday, maybe the day before. So just myself alone, I can do a big chunk of damage here. So we already started talking about maybe you know beating Brutal. But... As long as nobody really wastes their energy on these, then we can probably do it. So really, it's just about getting the main people here to start attacking Brutal more with all their keys instead of because right now everyone's trying to get the, just get the rewards, which is smarter to be honest. Like if you're in the, at the point we're at, you definitely want to be getting all three of these if you can. So if you can like, but the problem is you might only get you know you won't get a great chest in Brutal. So. Uh, you know, at least at the point that I was at before, like I would get, I'd probably get somewhere around here because I would do normal, I would do hard, and then I would get maybe seven to 10 million damage on Brutal. So it is what it is, but you're still getting three chests. So that's, that's, the, po that's the point. You're getting, you know, shards, books, you're getting potions. So it's way, it's way more important that you get all three of these than to just hammer away on Brutal and try to beat it, at least in the beginning. Now we want to beat it. We're at that point. Um, uh, Hydra, I actually had a really good fight on one of my teams. See, we finally broke a million. So that's that's a first for me. So I, oh, that's right, I did put him in the team. So I have a decent, oh no, that's not the team I used. Here we go. So that was the last team. Here we go, battle list. So this is the team I used here. So I used these guys, I, I put her in. And that's what helped skyrocket my damage. As you can see, she did some crazy damage there. Um, with their area of effect attack. So really, I just need survivability and speed. So I need to build the speed up on all of these guys to get them up, because uh, I can't outspeed, I can't out fight these freaking Hydras. So once I get that done, and I get maybe a couple, you know, another really good solid hero in here, I don't know who I want to replace. Um, Spirit Host is good. I might honestly even consider bringing in uh, Odachi, because... But he would have to be level 60 first. So, but there you go. I brought him in here. See, but these guys didn't do any damage because I only have, I don't have many AOE damage he, damages in here, and they're all level 50, so they get one shot. So, not really a great team for that. Hey, but 169,000 damage for, uh, it's, uh, sorry, it's 156,000 damage, maybe. No, 169,000. There you go. I'm looking at it wrong. So I have 169,000 damage for a secondary team that's not even good. So that's not bad. I mean, hopefully I'm ev I'll eventually be able to get this first key. It's really what we're pushing for. So we need to hit like 2 million. Once we're hitting 2 million damage comfortably on this, I'll be happy. Because I've never gotten, at least I'll start getting, you know, shards and these things and clan gold. This is going to be huge. Getting the, getting a reward here. Oh my god. So that's going to change the game because you're going to get so much more things from the clan shop. Because right now you basically just wait for clan, uh, clan versus clan and your weekly stuff. So I finish it in the first few days, and then I don't get any more clan gold. Um, 
so yeah, that's where we're at there. Uh, arena, I have been not caring. What I did was is this, as you can see, I'm in, in gold one now instead of gold two. I was up, I was pushing about 2,600 for a while. Um, here's my defense. This is why we are in gold one. So I left my little bone knight in as my defense because I got tired of these fights. Um, arena has basically made me just angry because I can't stand it anymore. <laughs> I, and, and this isn't uh, this isn't something that you know. I don't think this is something that Ray did specifically. Um, this is basically just every game that I ever play. I can't stand Arena. So essentially, I've just been going in here and just clicking whatever I can fight. Um, I'm I'm pretty much staying in gold anyway because I do so many fights that it just keeps me in gold regardless of what I do. Um, and if it starts pushing me back into silver eventually, I don't even know. I might leave it. I don't. I have no idea what I want to do because it's so slow to get these medals, and I don't really log in enough to be able to be like, you know what? I'm gonna just do refreshes every, you know, every 10 minutes to make sure that I can get the fights that I need. Um, yeah, some fights go well, some of them don't. It's funny. Whenever I'm on stream, they seem to go well. I'll like, I'll log in. And just be like, oh look, they're all dead. This is this is not <laughs> what a normal fight looks like. All right. So up oh, there we go. Now we're in two. So we got a re oh, refresh. Here we go. She, I think this chick blocks damage. Well, she didn't block that, did she? Um. All right. Let's see. I'm gonna see if there's a battle here that I that I. Uh, is what I'm used to dealing with in arena. Alright, so this is this is a normal team. Let's see. Some of these will just depend on speed. I'm I'm halfway to the level eight, which is why this has been annoying me so much. Um this is not one of those teams. Alright, so the teams that have been pissing me off. Here's here's what Here's what I see almost all the time in Gold 2. All right, so these are the heroes. You got Deliana, which oven, you know, by herself is not a problem. I've pretty much, you know, there's only like a few Delianas that I've fought now at this point that are just so insanely built that I, I you actually can't kill them. So like you'll, you'll find one that's, you know, completely awakened and has uh, counter attack, leech, you know, regeneration. And you just can't, you can't freaking kill her because she's so defensive and tanky, and then just, she just heals herself back up. So a high HP Deliana with with uh, reflex, not reflex, um, counter attack here is almost impossible to kill at my level. I, I just, I mean, I, I could do it if I re-geared my entire team, but she's just that annoying. So it's, that's the problem. The other one that sucks, uh, well, Roto sucks if you get a strong one. Um, he just gets like 90 turns and just one shots all your heroes. It's freaking annoying. Um, I guess he's not in here. Um, Ultimate Death Knight is another one. All the free heroes that everybody's getting are annoying as hell to fight in the arena. So, in order to beat him, I would, if I wanted to have a, a consistent team that beat him, I would need another AoE damage dealer that does insane damage. Um, War Maiden and Kale can handle him normally. So a normal, everyday, you know, this this could be a normal one right here. Let's, let's just fight it. Let's see. This is going to be a lot of shields, so I don't know if I can bust through the shields before they kill me. Yeah, see? I knew it was going to be a ton of shields, because you've got two of the best shielders in the game right here. So, this is what you're up against normally. And the problem here is that everybody here, with the exception of Ninja, is is a beefy defensive hero. Okay? And they all do sh like they all do shield. Every single one of them does shield. So unless there we go, unless he dies, you're gonna be screwed. And miscreator's gonna do, and then he's gonna do that, and freeze everybody, and then you're all dead. Boom. Everyone's gonna be dead. Oh, he survived it. Let's see. Can they pull it off? Depends if they kill, if they can kill that guy, there we go, he's dead. All right, so we won it. So if those, if that team, if that team had a, um, had a death knight that was good, this death knight is built horribly. I don't even know what they have on it, but 
he's not built right. If he built this Death Knight to be tanky as hell, where he wouldn't die as fast as he just died, like I've fought, I've literally fought Death Knights that I can't kill with all four of my heroes. All four of them cannot beat him. And this one is not one of them. So if this was even built a little bit more tanky, this team would have destroyed me. Because all of my hits would be going to Death Knight. And he wouldn't die. So then, basically, this guy will just kill me, and these guys will keep shielding. So this was just a poor Death Knight. But the rest of the team was really good. Um, but that's what you're up against. And then the other problem is, is when you start getting... The main ones that really mess with me are... Uh, what the heck's his name? Her name. Rector. You'll have a Death Knight and Rector. And Rector will just constantly heal and revive Death Knight. So basically you'll take 20 years to kill Death Knight. And then when you finally kill Death Knight, she'll revive him and heal him back up to full. And then the fight resumes all over again. And by the time you kill him again, her revive is up. So basically it's an endless battle and it never ends. Um, here, let's try this. I'm actually seeing some good fights here, so that's why I'm going to do them. I wasn't planning on doing these fights, but I'm seeing some that I can actually probably beat. So I'm like, let me just give it a shot while we're here. Because I need I need to get to level 8. So when I see good fights, I have to do them. Because the next quests uh, require me to get... See, yes, I'm at 450 here. I need 800. So I'm 350 away. We're almost... We're getting closer. Um, I don't know if I want to fight them. Uh, all right, that's good enough for now. We'll come back to this later. All right, so... That's where we're at in Arena. Um, we're doing pretty good in the Bazaar. Uh, I have a decent amount of fragments. And I'm just waiting for this to regenerate so I can get that. Uh, let's get out of here. Fragments. We are... Where are we at? Oh, Daily Logins. Yeah, we are on day... Literally 100. This is our 100 day anniversary. We'll be getting some gems tomorrow. And then this is good. I'll be getting my potions refilled. And then we'll be getting... Dark Alhane this month, which is good. Uh, I will be building her immediately and trying to get her up to six star, hopefully. I wouldn't say immediately if I didn't finish the other three that I got to do because it takes a little while, but it's gotten a lot quicker. I've gotten a lot better at six starring heroes. Uh, so as long as I keep getting the energy, like here we'll get a nice little stack of energy, which will be good for leveling. I'll probably be ignoring a lot of things except for leveling over the next few weeks because I really need to get ready for ascending so as soon as I get this to 8 we'll be clearing 15 on all of these on all of these dungeons I already have this done we'll be clearing 15 on all of these so hopefully these shouldn't be too hard I should be able to beat these um, even if it's like not perfect like if I lose one or, one or two battles here and there I should be able to be 15 no problem I, I have the heroes they're good enough uh, so then this will be done and then I'm gonna get stuck here again so realistically I do have a lot of time before I start getting into the heart, into this part. Once I get to bonus hall nine, that's when the ascensions will happen. So I have a good chunk of time before I get to these quests. So, and then that will push me into this. And then this is where I'll get stuck again. So, but once this is done, it's all just finding teams that can beat dungeons, which is, you know, it, it's technically harder than what I'm doing now. It's, it's harder than leveling um, a you know guardian, a, a great hall. It's harder than great than getting a great hall to level nine or ten. This is not a hard fight, a hard task. It just takes forever because of you get freaking you know two gold things every every fight. So if you if you win ten fights, you get twenty. Yeah, and you need like twelve hundred or whatever the the crazy amount is that you need to level this up. All right, so that's just time. That's all it is. Is time. All right, missions, I still, uh, like I said, we got no challenges left except for the arena, which I'll, I mean, the Grand Hall. So we just got this, so I'll be upgrading a champion today, so that'll be another 130 energy right there. Monthly, we we're just, we're done, we're just kind of trucking through. Um, advanced, we ju I just finished before I started the stream, so that's good. <laughs> uh, dailies, we're done. So that's where we're at on pretty much all the main stuff that's been going on. So I have my new heroes at Doom Tower. I haven't really progressed more. Like I said, I was whoop, we're up to floor. Where are we at? We had a good run this time. I think last time I hit level 50. So yeah, we are still on this. Like I, said, I just don't feel like fighting them, to be honest. I'm going to wait until my guy is level 60 for the HP burn because I literally got him down to the last HP and it just pissed me off. And I was like, you know what? 
I'm not. It's a long last fight too because he's really strong. Um, I was a little upset with that, but yeah. I mean, hey, it's this is this is improvement. That's what that's what we're looking for. So I'm already on you know, floor 70. Basically, I could beat this. I just I'm choosing not to because I just don't feel like doing it. Um, I'll wait till the next rerun and we'll start fresh again. And hopefully by then I'll have my level 60 guy. Um, faction wars. We are at 330 stars. I haven't been moving too far on this because I've been focusing on the main heroes to get them to beat the content that's coming. Because there's no quest for me to beat Faction Wars right now. The only Faction Wars quests are going to be in the next section after we beat Arbiter. So, basically months from now. <laughs> so I'm not, I'm not worried about Faction Wars. I'm just, I'm, I'm slowly just building them up. So Skinwalker, where are we at? So I beat the boss here. It just didn't three star. I won't be worrying about three star until I get at least one or two level 50s in here. Because um, my team isn't great. I'm not going to lie. Here we go. Let's see. Who's the vault? So these are my heroes that I have. Uh, I don't use the poisoner. So we just do it like this. So this is my little skinwalkers team that I have. They're all. Uh, the funny thing is, is every single one of these skinwalker heroes is. Like on their own, amazing. Completely a good hero. The problem is, is that their synergy sucks. Like they have, they basically take a long time to do things. I need, I need a good damage dealing Skinwalker is what I really need. But, and I haven't decided what I want to do with that. I mean, this this little sheep guy. Technically, I could build him to be a damage dealer. He has an AOE attack. He has a double attack, and I have sleep on him. So. Yeah, this is the, actually the chick we're fighting right now is the girl I want to use for clan boss. I have her level 40, and I actually used her in a previous life uh, for my clan boss team with Frozen Banshee on a, on a account that I was actually playing normally, not doing this that I'm doing now. But um, she did really good. Like, I built her in poison gear, which I think I have her in now, uh, and she just would put 100 poisons up. And she was amazing. She got me a ton of damage. So I think I'm going to be building her for clan boss as my secondary. Because I was going to build this guy right here. My boy, is that him? Yeah, the poisoner. Grappler. I think that's grappler, right? Yeah, it's Dato. He's got poisons. I was going to build him for it. I don't know if I'm going to do it. I mean, technically speaking, I could build both. I could build grappler as my Valerie replacement. And I could build, uh, I, think, I think it's Hyria. Um, for my War Maiden replacement. And then it would just be literally poisons nonstop. I'm actually considering doing it just to see how much poison damage we can get off with those few heroes. Uh, stage selection. I'm bad at this. A lot of times I'll like, I won't use the last two keys because I just don't feel like doing what I just did there. I'll be like, ah, I'm good. There we go. But yeah, this is where I'm at on this one. Like, and like I said, they're not bad heroes. I would use all of them in the game. I mean, Gnarlhorn is insanely good for having an unkillable hero. Uh, you just have to basically not get killed for one round every three rounds because he has a two, he has a, a three turn cooldown on his unkillable and it's last two rounds. See? Boom. So what we're going to do is we're probably going to build him. He's, he's probably good in some comps that I'll need for maybe even a provoke He's got a reliable provoke. That's what it was. So he could be good for Doom Tower and a couple other things that we could, that we could use him for. That'll help me not die. Because I'm gonna have to start getting a little more clever with my heroes for the content that I'm coming into. I mean, realistically, I just need to build them. <laughs> a lot of my heroes that I have right now, they are really good. They're just they're just not built. That's all. And I'm, I still don't have Metal Shaper, and I still don't have my six-star Bog Walker. I'm really, really waiting for those two. I, I, I've been, every time I pull a shard, I'm like, come on, Bog Walker. He's the only one that I have a six-star for. A six-star uh, Awakening. Like, to be honest, I would probably stop everything I'm doing if I pulled Bog Walker. That's how much I want to have a six-star Awakened hero. So this is also why we do Faction Wars. It's very important that you do all the quests every day, because... I mean, look, you get 100 points just for doing that one hit. So it's, if you do the, I think you get 18 keys a day, right? Yeah, you get 12 keys plus the six from the, from the advanced quest. So you get 18 keys. So 
it's 100 per thing. You get 1,800 points per faction just for doing these. All right, so Barbarian, I think, I, I don't know if I can push. I might be able to. Oh, I was on the boss, that's why. I don't think we, yeah, because we didn't, who do I even have? I, I haven't even been looking at my barbarian, so I, so I have her. So I think I've, I think this is the same setup that I've had, honestly. Let me see, it's just defense and faction groups, yeah. All right, yeah, we'll leave it at defense. Let's see what happens. I want to see if I can three-star this. We're gonna super rate it anyway, because I don't, I don't, I can't beat the boss. I don't think. I think we tried. I tried one time, and the boss just wiped me. I'm gonna need at least. And the reason the boss wipes you is because of all the provokes and stuff that they do. The provokes and the fears. And right now, basically what would happen in that boss fight is these are all level 40 heroes. So more than likely they'll get blasted on the first hit of the boss and they'll be dead. And then she'll just fear and provoke these two. So being level 60 doesn't even do anything. So the only way I can beat it uh, with 3 star, or even beat it at all, would be to have a full team of at least 50 with good good gear because I think only I think she's the only one right now that has like level 12 gear I believe yeah it's like those two died too, too quickly but these two are they, even these two already are getting beat up and they're level 60 yeah they basically you can just beat it I think is what happened yeah that's why we one started oh she's down to the wire Boom. I don't care as long as we win. That's all that matters. See, because this look at that 400 plan versus plan points. This is what we're looking for right now. So I do these. You got to do these every day for clan. I think there's only two days of clan versus clan anyway. But that's literally what 3,600 points just for doing something that you should be doing every day anyway, and you'll get some good stuff. This is what I'm looking for now because I want to start pushing. I I think I'm gonna go and just sell all my four my four star gear now at this point. Um, I don't really want to waste. Even if I get a new hero, let's put it this way. If I get a new hero that is good, I don't really want to be throwing four-star gear on them anyway at this point. So I'm probably going to just go clear out my inventory of everything that's four-star. I don't think I need any of it at this point. Uh, none of it's going to help me. unless I, The only thing I think I, I'm going to keep at this point that's four-star would be crit gloves and speed boost. That's it. Everything else, don't care about. If you got any other stat and you're four-star, you're gone. Uh, let's go play that one because I really want to play. I really want these points and I really need those gold. It's it's sometimes it's it's tough because you're gonna be like you're gonna have a day where you're tired and you're not gonna wanna sit here and run these stupid things. But it's like I, I just wanna get it over with. I want it done because I need the points. But it's it's worth doing the higher ones. Like I'll run the lower levels sometimes just because I want them done fast. And to be honest, that's a terrible idea because you could lose potentially really good glyphs because that's what we're looking for now because I, I need ways to upgrade my main team is where we're at now. Um, so I need any anything that can upgrade them. So, so three, four, five star glyphs is where it's at. You'll get a huge stat boost. But the other thing is I, I kind of don't want to waste them on like crap gear. Luckily, none of them really have too much crap gear at this point. I do still need to farm dragon and all that but the thing is that the next the ne all the next quests that come up are all going to be farming gear so the fact that i don't have uh, you know full teams of six star gear it doesn't even affect me like i think the reason people get freaked out and try to they try to rush this game so much i mean look at us we're at, we're on day 100 and i'm still playing i'm still doing well you know i'm still beating the content and the quests that i need to beat it's not like it's not like if i beat Doom Tower tomorrow that anything in this game is going to change for me. It's not like if I get Arbiter, you know, the world's going to change and all of a sudden everything has opened up for me. It's not, that's not the way it works. Literally, if you don't like just chilling and leveling heroes, then you probably won't do well in this game anyway. <laughs> because that's basically all you do in this game. Realistically, the only place so far that I've seen a severe uptick in in um, difficulty for me has been the arena. That's it. And that, like I said, can be fixed with speed. I just gotta get some good speed boosts because I need I need I really need to start pushing like 250 speed, and I need to start fixing some of my builds. 
I need accuracy on a few heroes. Um, I've been building resist on certain heroes that I need for a certain content. I have a little dog that is being cute. All right, there we go. So, oh, nice. So we got the we got the high end ones here. So that's good. All right, and there's our points. Oop, save selection. Close this. All right, so where are we at in faction wars at this point? So 31 on Lizardmen, we're doing good there. 22 Skinwalkers, 19 here, it's about right. Somewhere between 20 and 30 is average. Um, Demon Spawn, I, have, I haven't I have leveled them enough to do well here. So that's why Ogren, same thing. And Orcs, I only have, I think, I think I have four. I wanna say I have four Orcs. Um, so that's why these are a little bit lower than everywhere else. Uh, High Elf, I have What's his name? I have Apothecary in my team who's level 60 and one of my main teams. So yeah, that's why we're in the middle here. Uh, I do have a few other high elves that are good that I can level. I have the heroes to beat this. I just haven't leveled them yet. Uh, Dark Elf obviously is the highest that I have because I have Kale in there. Uh, so that's why I have the most stars here. Uh, Sacred Order, we're doing pretty good. Bannerlords, we're doing pretty good. Dwarf, we are now doing well since I got Madman. So that's good. And I have my, my lowly one star in Shadowkin for the one time that I had my uh, Odachi fight in Shadowkin and Barbarian, as you can see, 37. So we're doing pretty well across the board. I mean, hopefully the goal here is to have everybody above 20, everything above 20 stars soon. And then maybe this is like, you know, whatever, I don't care. Like this one's five stars maybe. We'll get a couple stars in there. Uh, we get this book and then move into the next section and that'll be the end of, of Faction Wars. Um, dungeons, I'm at the same place I've always been at. It's not like things have changed. I've been doing Iron Twins, same thing as I've always been doing. I just fight level one every day. And I think on Void, I started pushing. Uh, I was trying to get to level six. I, I believe I beat four, and I believe I beat five, if I remember correctly, on Void. So I'm going to try to, I'm going to eventually, I got to get a uh, speed down I need, I think. So once I build these other heroes, we'll see if any of them work out well here. Uh, I do need to, I want to try to beat stage six on all of them. Because that'll give me a ton of resources to get some more awakenings, which will be good. So that'll be the next step in here is to get to six. Uh, and then what will probably end up happening is I'll probably farm stage three <laughs> once I'm beating six. I'll probably start farming this every day for the, my six keys and then walk away from it again. So we just want it to be reliable. We don't want to waste energy here. So if I can't reliably beat three every single time, then I'm not going to waste my energy. I'll just go back to one. Like, I don't care. I'd rather save my energy and not worry about this garbage because just... Here's the thing about, about Awakenings um, that you should understand if you're, you know, starting this or if you're just new to the game is that Awakenings didn't exist, you know, like, what, a month or two ago? They didn't exist. So everybody beat the game without them. So literally anything you do with an awakening is just a bonus. So for someone who's new, if you go crazy on this, it's it's not gonna matter. Like it's, you don't need it. I mean, guardian ring, guardian faction. In the beginning of the game, this didn't exist. This, this wasn't here. You didn't get a 10% HP, a 10% attack. You didn't get a 10% defense. You didn't get any of this crap. So all of this stuff is literally bonus stuff to help you beat early game content. You know, it's like, it, it's all here. So you will, and this is for your whole faction. So literally every, every barbarian is going to have a 10% HP increase. Um, so you can, you could literally ignore all of this. You can ignore awakenings if you want. And technically speaking, you should be able to beat the content and get to where I am now. All right. Um, it just makes it easier. So that's why you should do them. It's going to make it easier for you to build these, these heroes up and do those things. Um, where else do we got going on? Uh, we have a ton of shards. Here, we'll just pull this one. This will be my shard pull for the video. <laughs> I honestly want to do a shard pull video. I think I'm after I, I think what I'm going to do is once I uh, level up all these heroes that I'm doing right now, this is, this is my big win. Let's see his reviews. Oh, he's got a fire knight. Look at him. He's really good for fire knight, guys. What's this? Attacks one enemy three times, and that's all he ever does. That's actually funny. I would, if, if you're really struggling, you could just literally level this guy up to like 40 or 50 in the beginning of the game and he would probably and he decreases turn meter <laughs> even even better that's great he, he, he could be your uh your uh what's his name uh your armager he's he's baby armager so 
Yeah, there you go. We have 137 ancient shards. We've got 20 voids and nine sacreds. It's funny that I show people this every video, but it's just so you can see what you can have after 100 days when people are like, oh, I can never save up enough shards. I'm like, yeah, you can save up enough shards. It's, it's actually becoming comical at this point how many I've saved. Um, and I don't even really do a lot of the content. That's the, that's the funny part. Like, a lot of people, you'll get these ancient shards from potion keep drops, which I don't ever do, except for, um, like, when I need to do a le level up a hero, ascend a hero, or when I need to do a quest. So I don't touch it. But, yeah, ancient shards drop there. Dungeons, I barely run them. I literally only level heroes. Like, that's pretty much what I do. I, I do nothing else. I just spend my time in campaign building up my faction guardians and getting gear drops, selling it, getting money, and leveling up my gear to 16, which is how I have so many pieces of gear to level 16. It's not like I just, it's not like most people will be like farm, or farm spider, farm, like, yeah, that's great and all, but it takes forever and it doesn't level up your heroes and it doesn't give you the, the things you need. Um, so that's why I have this. So if you were farming gear, if you're farming anything else besides what I'm doing, you would actually be getting a lot more of these shards. So I'm actually low for where I'm at, to be honest. Like you should, you would probably have like another 10 to 15 of these minimum, possibly even up to 30 or 40 more agent shards than me if you were farming those things on a consistent basis, which how much energy that I blow every single day. Like I'll, I, like I, don't, I spend gems on, uh, on energy pretty much I would say maybe once a day I do it. That's where I'm at at this point. Like once a day I'll I'll buy energy. I don't do it if um I don't do it if my gems are low. Like at this point I think I'm trying to stay above 500 and I would like to not use it. And as you can see right now I have like a thousand energy. So I just got all my bonuses and my clan stuff. Here. I I got all this energy. So all this stuff I just got from my clan. And we got another hundred here coming. We're almost gonna hit. We'll hit this soon, so that's good. And I'll get the clan gold. And then, then all this. Let's see. Let's look at the. Uh, you get all this. All these clan gold. So this is what 200, 500 points here. Let's see. I think I don't know if this door's refreshed. It should be. It is refreshed. Okay, good. So um, oh look, see. So I can. There's no energy. Sometimes there's energy here, and that's the best because you can buy a thousand energy, which is great. But since we don't have that, we're gonna be buying these. And this is how we get all of our skills leveled up so fast uh, when people are probably like how did you level up so many heroes skills so fast it's like well one i use the heroes that i can farm that's one of the big ones because it saves me having to have a skill book and then two i buy my books in there so upgrade skills right now we're building her all right she's the next hero that we're going to be upgrading boom a thousand points per book which is good you could save all your books and stuff for this, but I'm not gonna. Um, I, my, what is he? Uh, my, my rares, I just level them, whatever I have. It's, it's not worth it. I need, I need the skills build. So she's next. We have a lot to do on her. She's gonna take a little while. Um, as you can see, I'll have four books by the end of this clan versus clan. So that's good. Um, we need one, two, three, four, five, six. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. She's hungry. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. We're going to need 17 books for this chick. So that's fun. <laughs> uh, I didn't realize what I was getting into. But either way, it, it's worth it. Because <clears throat> the whole point here is we need her. We need her to... This is what we need, really. Is we need the decreasing turn meter, and it fills hers. So she's just going to keep attacking like a crazy madman. And then she's going to have... This cooldown is super important. Because we need the heal reduction to be less than six turns. That's horrible, horrible. But it's there, at least it's in her kit. So that's the, that's the good news. So we're gonna level her next. <clears throat> and then the next one, I think, so all these guys' skills are done, I think. He's done, so he's done, she's done, done, done. I finished, yeah, so Frozen Banshee's done. Valerie is done. Soul Bond is done. He's done, I maxed him on one of the other clan versus clans. He's done. The coffin smasher's done. I'm trying to. I'm basically trying to, like, when you when you consider who you're gonna build next, the reason 
that I build a lot of times, the heroes that I do, is one, I, I, I know I need them for content. And then two is that you want to build them one at a time and you want to make sure that you max them. Um, I wouldn't really want to pull a hero to level 60 that I haven't already started building their skills and getting them up to the point with their masteries that they need to be. So like, I definitely got some of his masteries already. I'm going to throw these two probably in a Minotaur run. I've been throwing them in as we get quests from the advanced quest. It'll say like, you know, level up a mastery. So when that happens, I'll throw one of them in with my team to get the masteries. And then you just do that every time there's an advanced quest. And then eventually you'll probably be at like tier three with them because those quests don't pop up very often. Um, but you'll maybe you'll be at like the, the third tier and you can just max them once you get them to 60 pretty easily because you only have to do like the, the last few that are annoying. So um, him I haven't touched yet. I'm going to start building him after I finish her. I don't think he requires as much. Yeah, one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, he's definitely nowhere near her. Um, and this cooldown on this would be is amazing. Like three turns for this? Yeah, I'll take it. Basically, and it lasts for two turns. So basically you get one turn where he's not um, increasing your defense, which is really good. Uh, the block buffs. Um, I think I have him built. I'm building him towards. Where is it? I think I'm building him towards. Yeah, I did do it. So accuracy. So normally he's a defensive hero. Your first instinct would be to build him defense. Nah. <laughs> uh, him, you want accuracy to be able to land some of his stuff, and because you want him to get like stuff like this. Um, decreasing a random skill f um, by one, that's important because you could literally have defense up almost constantly if he keeps resetting. Uh, you don't need the speed really. I think there was a couple other things in here he, he uses. If he has a, depending on what stat set he has, you know, you can get more bonus from that, so that's good. And then all, obviously offense. Because it's crazy that the offense, you would think, oh, it's, you know, he's, not a, he's not an attack hero, so he doesn't need offense, but you're just getting crit rate, crit damage, and then you're going to end up getting these, just that extra damage at the end. It's not like this is based on attack. So definitely attack on him because he's got the area of effect attack, and I need that to be strong. Because this, this dude's going to be a beast, I'm not going to lie. Once I build him, like 100%, I just got this gear right here from doing my dailies. I Every time it says, when I have a daily, it says to get like three artifacts from running dungeons. Every single time I do, um, I think, dragon. I think this is dragon. So I got this six star piece of gear from there. So I've got him in some accuracy. Uh, I have him in HP boots because he has a skill that boosts his HP. Uh, was it his, he puts up a shield from his HP. So I do have him in some weird gear right now. Uh, I will probably change it. I will definitely want speed boots because his speed is trash right now. So I definitely want speed boots. I just haven't decided what I want. I definitely want HP destroy gear. I have this to 50, which is good. So unless I get a six star piece, this one is amazing because it has the HP, the accuracy, and the speed. Perfect. Three, three rolls in accuracy. That's like that's like the tits right there. That's what that is. Um, and then we have the accuracy gear here. I'm going to keep this more than likely. I think having high accuracy on him is going to be good because I don't really have a lot of high accuracy heroes to hit their skills. So I need to start doing that. Um, he's got this nice six star shield. Speed, HP, crit damage. Not amazing, but good. And yeah, his weapon, I think. Yeah, also, we want resist on him also. That's the other thing. That's why his power is actually as high as it is for the gear he has, because he's got a ton of resist in here. So, so realistically here, we need to build these two stats for him. We need to get his crit rate up, and we need to make sure his defense goes to like a... He's, he, I'm basically going to build him like Jizo, is essentially how I'm going to build him. So he's, a, he's, he's baby Jizo, is what he is. See? Here. So we're going to build him like this, basically. We need insane resist. You know, decent accuracy. I would still want this higher eventually. Uh, but yeah, crit rate high, insane defense, good HP, and there you go. That's basically what I'm be building Odachi as. So, and that's how I would recommend you build him as well. So, uh, masteries though, you're going to stay away from the defensive side on him. This guy's, this is, this guy's good in, in defense. You need defense for him. All right, so that's that. Um, all right, so yeah, that's pretty much what I've been doing. I think I'm gonna sell off this crap. I think I don't know if you get points for that. It'd be nice if you got points for selling gear. I'd have a thousand points, 
for all this gear that I crap, the crap that I sell. So I will, yeah, like this, I don't need. I'm going to be going through most of the stuff. I have a lot of, I have very little gear right now, so I've already been considering it. But like I said, I have the, the quest coming up for, for gear, and I don't need anything right now. Like, I don't, there's nothing like, I'm like, oh god, the world's going to end if I don't have it. So I may just wait to have to farm those levels for the quest, because I'm going to be getting a bunch of gear from doing it. I have a bunch of crap in here that I just got this today. Eh. I could use it for like a whatever character. Um, so yeah, I'll probably be selling like all these. I'll probably be getting rid of. I don't like. I don't honestly. I don't even care. Like this one, I'm keeping because it's speed. Uh, this one, I'll probably get rid of eventually. So most of this crap, I'm not gonna use. If it has speed on it, eh, eh. you know what? I'm I'm gonna hold true. I can't. I can't keep it. Let's get rid of it all. I just want to. I, I just want to cleanse my life of all this crap. We don't need any of it. Um, because I I can now start farming the higher levels of the faction wars. So like this, like we don't need any of this crap anymore. Most of this stuff is going to be garbage, and I'm going to waste silver. That's that's the reason I want to get rid of it. Honestly, is because you're going to waste silver building it. Now these I can't farm anything higher than four. So I will be keeping this for now because I used a lot of this stuff on my random heroes. Like this, I, I'm not farming the set, so just having a resist set might be, is, you know, it's cool. It's cool to have it. And then I did just unlock all of this stuff. I'm slowly building these pieces. This one is really good. It's got, what, 20 speed on it now? Um, I just got these from the last, from the, what is that thing called? The, uh, whatever, the, the, the daily forge thing, whatever that stupid quest is. Uh, we got this one, which has 10 speed. And then we got this piece, which is also very nice. Has some good attack, accuracy, HP, and crit. Um, I haven't decided who I'm do what I'm going to do with this yet. I'm building them slowly, and I'm either going to put it on Valerie, or I'm going to re-gear Spirit Host, which will be a pain in the ass, to be honest. I don't know if I really want to go that crazy yet, because I don't have a lot of speed gear. Um, and the pieces of gear that I have for the shield aren't matching up with the speed gear that pieces that I have so basically I'd be I'd be reworking her to be annoyed uh, so I got to farm more speed gear first before I do it but I'm building the pieces up now anyway because they are good and I definitely want to use them and I could conceivably because I haven't decided what I'm doing with Valerie like I honestly she is literally just she's kind of stagnating I'm not gonna lie it's not because I don't use her it's just because she's she's kind of good where she is like She's got ton of HP. She's got reasonable defense. I, I'd like to get her over, you know, 2,000. And I would like to get her to more speed. But other than that, I, I mean, I don't, I don't really care. Like, she does what she's supposed to do. She lives, she shields, and she heals. Like, that's, she's, she's basically the, uh, the budget healer, and she does what she's supposed to do. So I, I don't know what I'm going to do with her. Because I, I honestly don't think having a shield set on her is going to benefit me. Because having it basically just gives you a three-turn buffer for not dying, and if you're and if whatever content you're fighting, if you're dying in three turns, you probably can't beat it anyway. So, and that's with a shield, you know. So it's the fact that she puts up a shield every turn is really the only reason, and heals while she does it is the only reason I've kept her around. To be honest, like she she keeps heroes alive every four turns is what she does, and then apothecary will go through and heal whoever is basically about to die so i don't know if a shield set's good for her at this point i'm probably just going to be looking for stats for her you know maybe i'll just look for anything that has like i'm going to look for the one that has a six star piece that has the extra 10 percent hp to build her hp up more you know it's, it's kind of where it's at at this point i don't i really it's this top row that i can get some improvement from i can get rid of this so if i can find if i can put on like a anything honestly and literally anything hp based that's five star, other than these two pieces of garbage gear. I think that's the next step for her. Uh, possibly maybe a good five star set on, where is it? I might even have it, to be honest. I could check my heroes, but on this, I could probably, you know, just build one of these the HP and defense ones. This has speed, HP, and crit damage. You know, this would be fine. I, I would have no problem with this weapon. So something like this, and then I can dig through my heroes and find a good shield. Uh, I think I've put most of this stuff on my defensive heroes. So, but she doesn't need the shield. Like, this 15% shield is garbage. 
It's a 15% HP for, for three turns. I already have. The only time I use her, I never use her alone. Never. She's always with someone else, with my main team. So having her in a shield set doesn't matter because I already have the turn, the shield on, uh, what the hell's her name, on Spirit Host. So I'm basically just wasting my time with it because she's tankier than Spirit Host. So there's no point for her to have that extra shield. Uh, so we definitely just want to get some extra HP and defense in here. And these are all four-star pieces of garbage gear. So I may end up doing that um, uh, in the next for, you know week or so. We'll see what I got, what I find. But I could easily switch out even like this piece right here with this. We'll, we'll see what it changes. Boom. Let's see. So yeah, 10 speed, boom, right there. You get your speed that I, that I want. It's not max, so that's why I don't have enough. You know, she'll lose some attack, which I don't give a, sh you know, a hoot about. And she'll lose a little defense, but that'll probably change once I level it up, but who cares? Like, that's going to gain HP and defense on the, on the what is it, on the, the set. So what I might do is just try to find a, a full four pieces of this and throw them, like, here, 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 and here. I'll just do these, because these pieces are really good, surprisingly enough. These are actually very good pieces for her. So I'll probably keep those, and I need the HP gear. Because they're the only two HP pieces I have. Uh, so yeah, I'll probably just, you know, do something like this, maybe. I don't know if I'll do this one. I don't know. Depends what I want. I might do HP on her. Defense is really good, but I need more defense on her. So I don't know what I'm going to do. But either way, that's the direction we're going to be going. All right, so to make Valerie a little more viable than what she is now. That's the goal with my main team now, is every day you want to kind of try to consider what you can do to make them more viable. Like, I got her up above 31 I switched her banner back I had this one on it right here with HP which you would think is better because I have the shield on her and all that other stuff but honestly it's not it's, it's not better having this high resist right here on her is gold because basically she never gets hit with things so she and she has the removed debuffs so I found like in the uh, arena especially you know she'll be the last one to get to survive like when you get like say like a Kaimar that comes out and tries to sleep your whole freaking team. I don't know, I think a Kaimar might be a bad example. I believe he might be a hundred percent sleep. I don't remember. But you get the point. So he'll he'll you know, hit everybody with his debuff and then she won't get hit with it and then she'll remove all the debuffs. So it's actually been more beneficial. And it's really good for Iron Twins. It's really good for pretty much everything, every content that where somebody's gonna hit you with a bunch of debuffs. So she has pretty good I think she has pretty good stats now. Yeah, like the 188, which isn't even that great. I mean, Jizzle's my highest, and he's at 200. But, yeah. So, that's why I switched her out. So, now she's at 32. I think she might have been around 25,000 power at one point. Um, once I do the rework on her, her power might even go down. I mean, it just depends on... I'm more concerned with the stats that do the right thing, not, not really this number. This number's just kind of... It's sexy to look at, let's put it that way. Like, I like looking at him, because he has 45,000 power, and that's my highest power hero right now. Um, so yeah, that's that. So that's where we're at with gearing. That's what we're, we're trying to do. Like I said, at this point in the game, we're really just trying to finish this quest. So we're going to get this up. And like I said, the, what I am doing here goes against what 90% of players will tell you to do. And they're right. 100% they are right. But for what I'm doing with Kale and everything and my main heroes, this has to be high because I need him to do more damage. I will be doing crit damage probably next, to be honest. That'll be next after I finish attack. Uh, and yes, this affects everybody, defensive and everything like that. I get it. Like, I understand why. But with the heroes that we're using, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter at all. This has been helping me way more. Kale has been like a beast in the arena and has been doing a lot of things. Because the thing is, it's stats you can change. If you boost this attack, you can just put more crit damage on your gloves or on anything. So this haul is a buffer. That's what it is. It's just a buffer. So it lets you kind of adjust your stats. So if you put, if you if you do put it in attack, you can go and just crit damage the hell out of your gloves, like whatever, because you won't need as much attack on your on your stats on your gear. So it, it, there's always a way to finagle this. Every stat in here is good. And to be honest, all I need to do is get this to 10, and then I need to get. Uh, I think these to five, and then I don't have any more quests in the Great Hall, like, at least that I care about, because I'm probably not going to be going for Rama 2 anytime soon. The, the quests in there are kind of ridiculous. 
so I'm not going to care about that. I just want Arbiter because she's really good. Um, and then we'll just literally go one by one and level these all to two and just start building them all up at once. So this is literally just to get through the quest. I don't really care. It takes such a long time too. It's crazy. But yeah, we're going to get a nice 20% attack boost on Kale. And that's honestly worth it for me. All right. Um, like I said, I already showed you all the heroes that we're doing. I uh, showed you where we're at with summoning. I showed you where we're at with clan boss. So that's good. Arena, you know where we're at there and why I'm, I lowered gear because, like I said, I got tired of it. Um, you saw where we were at at Hydra. We saw where we were at at Doom Tower. So that's where we're at. I'm going to spend all this energy on clan versus clan. Um, if you haven't noticed, there's, you know, I don't know if you've really looked at clan versus clan, but there are sections that have two times the points. So you're going to want to do some stuff in there. Uh, it's dragon, obviously. This is St. Look, opponent. You have the other people are doing dragon nonstop in to get gear. So that's where their points are coming from. And my clan hasn't woke up yet. <laughs> it's so funny how they like, like this happens every clan versus clan. Like the first, the, the other clan goes crazy. They may end up winning though because they're pretty high level. So they may end up winning. I don't know. Depends. But these guys go nuts at the end. Like right, af right after like the first day, I think last time we were ex almost exactly like this. And then the next time I logged in, we had like 600,000 points. So uh, yeah, nobody woke up yet. So we really want to focus on the clan versus clan. We really want to make sure um, we get personal rewards, obviously, if we lose. So with personal rewards, if you lose, you don't get this stuff. So do I want to go crazy blowing through like my skill books on my epic? No, I'm not going to do that until we get closer to the end. Like if we're like really close to winning, then yeah, I would consider throwing a bunch of books in so I get these personal rewards. Um, but I also don't think that getting this one extra book or any of these chickens for that matter, like this is literally all horse shit. Um, the energy is all I would really want. So it's 80, you know, 150, 250, uh, like 400. So yeah, 400 energy is nothing to sniff at. So yeah, if we're about to win, I would consider it. But I usually hit around this point anyway. So realistically, it, to me, it's do I want to waste a bunch of skill books to get three star chickens, a book, and 400k is really what it's about. And the answer is no. The answer is no, I don't care. I don't give one crap about this. these last two. So I'll just do my thing. And if I end up getting this high because I get lucky, then sure, great. But otherwise, yeah, this is all I care about, like this energy stuff. I don't even care about the chickens, to be honest. Like they're, they're helpful, but I don't, I don't care. The, the gold, don't care. Sorry, silver. I don't care about any of it. Like, really just the energy is all the uh, energy is the lifeblood. It lets you do whatever you want to do. I can run, you know, I can run a campaign with this. I can do 10 runs and make 100K. This, I can run, do 10 runs and make another 100K. So it's like, yeah, I don't care about any of this stuff. I just want the energy. All right, so that's clan versus clan. Tournaments, honestly, don't, don't kill yourself on these. Uh, there's a fusion... All right, dragon, I'm not doing. And yeah, only use orcs. Let's see. Let's see how many people are doing this right now. Probably one. Let's see if I'm wrong. Two people are doing this. That's how dumb this this uh, hunt is. Like, why why is this here? Hunt using only orcs. How about don't do this? Don't do this. How about that? Just don't do it. Who cares? Like, most of these people are going to, like, this guy probably has a lot, if I had to guess. And then this person probably has like what I have, like four orcs and you're going to farm level one dragon. You're going to waste energy on farming level one dragons because you're, you don't have orc heroes. Like, yeah, this is a dumb, dumb, dumb event. Don't do it. Um, and it's not, the, the rewards aren't even good. Uh, here we go, events. So fusion warm up is going on right now. This is free stuff. Just level up heroes and get, what is it, artifacts, right? Yeah, raid for artifacts and accessories. So just basically level up your heroes and get the gear and you'll get all this stuff. So uh, you get 120 points every day. So I'm still missing 50 points. So I think this is the last thing I get, maybe. No, 240, I'll get all this. And then tomorrow I get another book, which is good. I need that. And we get all this stuff. And I guess this is the grand prize is another void shard, I think. I believe, yeah, not enough points. Yeah, so basically that's it. Um, so yeah, make sure you do this. Just farm a couple levels. This, these points come quickly. 
I think I did. A, I think I leveled like a couple of uh, two star heroes to three, and I already got like all the points for that day. So make sure you do that. Now for everyone's favorite. Yeah, this is this this is horseshit. That's about the best way I can put it. This is the stupidest event I think I've ever seen. Uh, I don't care about it. I haven't been touching it. I had to, I was farming potion keeps because I literally, when this event popped, I got uh, a ton of energy from all the resets and stuff. And I got 650 energy from the daily logins. I think it was like day like 80 or 90, I mean, uh, like 85 or 90, somewhere in that range. Uh, no, it had, to, it had to be before that. It was in the 90s. So I got a bunch of uh, energy and I'm like, and they're like, oh, this event popped up. It's like, first of all, it's based on luck, which screw this game. Anything luck. <laughs> I don't do luck. So we, um, we're we not doing this at all. Like, I'll flip the ones that I get. I got some energy, so that's great. I got some silver. I'm not saying you should ignore it, but I wouldn't try to get this. If you're leveling up heroes right now, then that, this is perfect for you. You'll get a bunch of free crap that, you know, will help you level up your heroes. That's it. If you're, but if you're literally trying to, if you think you're going to get any of this stuff here, yeah, good luck on that. Because you're, it's, it's just so random. You would have to just be very, very lucky. I think I got one chest and it was the green one. So basically this is what you're going to be spending all your energy trying to get is everything here. It's really what you're going to get. And all of this stuff you get anyway. So if you get lucky and get some gems, good for you. But I wouldn't go crazy trying to flip all these. I mean, it's it's a waste of time. So I didn't do this. This is a dumb event. I don't care about it. The wheel was was annoying too. Like the one they did. I don't know if you saw that. There's one online where you can spin a wheel. You just put in your your name, look it up on if you haven't done it yet, uh, and you get a free spin. You could win a legendary hero, or nothing. So I'm pretty sure almost everybody wins nothing. So if you win something, let me know because. I'm pretty sure every single person I've seen spin it has gotten nothing. Um, so yeah, that's the event. Fusion warm up, like I said, you're gonna do you're gonna do this every day, which will give you some pumpkins anyway, so you can get a couple of the little freebies like money and stuff. Um, yeah, and that's about it. I, I did unlock my gem mine too fully. I don't know if I if I did that before, but it's all all done. So we're getting 15 gems every day now, so that's good. Free. So now we get 15 gems a day. We get 10 from the daily. So that's 25 gems every single day from, the, from that. Uh, we usually get about 10 gems from the advanced quests, because there's two that give you five each. So that's another 10. So basically we're getting 35 gems per day, not including any events or anything else that's going on. So that's a good, that's a good thing, you know, 35 gems every single day. Look, do the math, you know, every 10 days you're getting 350 gems. So yeah, we're good. So eventually we will probably unlock the Guardian Ring. I will not be leveling them probably. I don't even know what that does to be honest, leveling. I don't even want to click this button. Uh, but I'm pretty sure we're just going to unlock them eventually. It's not a priority for me right now, but I do want to unlock them. Because then we can do that whole passive uh, six star thing where you get a bunch of heroes to level 40. You just throw a couple brews in them, get them to like maybe 15, you know, 15 to 20 ish. And then you just pop them in here. Because you don't want to be waiting for level one, two, three. Like, it's just dumb. You're going to wait, like, you know, an hour and a half and then log back in for one level. It's just silly. So you would just throw all your heroes in here at, like, level 20 or level 15 or whatever it is you want to do. And then just every time you log in, just click the button. And eventually you'll have a six-star hero. Isn't that nice? Uh, as long as you're leveling the suit up, at least. So you'll have all max uh, four-star heroes. So that's what this is for. But we don't have that right now. And honestly, I don't use it. I, I probably should since it's just a sitter anyway, but I don't care right now. I'll wait till I'll wait till it's all done. Um, yeah, and that's basically it for where, where we're at now. So we're doing really good. We're moving ahead. We've got a good selection of champions in the vault. Uh, you know, I mean, I have as of this point, I have the 12 here, and I have this 83. So what are we at now? 95. Yeah. So yeah, this is 12, right? Yeah. So I've got 95 separate heroes as of this point uh not including these so one two three so i've technically got 98 but we don't use these three so they're they're off the, they're off limits right now because not everybody can get them um yeah and that's where we're at so i, I will hopefully be a little more consistent now because like i said i had some issues 
uh, with my car, and it caused some problems with work, and it was annoying. So this is why I haven't been able to stream. So right now, I'm going to try to get back into this, uh, hopefully on the weekends, and get on a little more regular schedule here. <laughs> but I promise I did not quit, and I will keep making these, these little videos and putting them on YouTube. Um, so yeah, that's where we're at, day 100 in the books, and uh, hopefully we'll get uh, a little bit further in the next few days and move some quests. Really the goal here is Arbiter. That's, that's the goal. I don't care about anything else. We want Arbiter with only using the heroes that we get for free and that we pull from Crap Shards. All right? So once again, thank you for watching, and I hope you guys all have a great day. Thanks.